channel. On this video, my buddy Keith is back for another ride. How are you How's doing, Keith? Mark? Good. Ready for another ride? Yeah. So this time, where are we heading? We're on Fennel Creek Trail, and we're going to head to... We're going to go down to the Dirksen Nature Park, just ride the, the paved trail all the way down there, and then we'll probably do some off-trail riding over there. So. All right. Sounds good. So let's hop aboard our vehicles. Okay. I got to turn mine on. I've been turn turn. I always make sure it's off to save my power. Since we're on a trail here, I don't need to put it up to a high pedal assist level. I'm going to leave it at number one. Probably conserve some battery, yeah. even though I'm at 100%. I'm going to leave the Grizzly just on the rear wheel. We'll just take a nice easy ride over there. Nice and slow. We don't want to run nobody over, so. I hope I don't have that backwards in the switch. Try a little bit to make sure. I may have it backwards when I told you which one is. No, I can feel the power coming. Okay. Through. Yeah, you're you were right. I haven't ridden it in a while, so I've forget, <laughs> forgotten. Okay. Hey, those are neat. Yeah, thank you. Huh. Electric. Yeah, those are electric bikes. Yeah. You can get up to about 70 miles on them if you pedal it. They're expensive though, huh? Well, it depends what you think is expensive. I mean, they got some that are like seven, eight thousand dollars that are pretty much electric motorcycle, you know, motorcycles or dirt bikes. These are pretty mid-range, I guess you could say. What's that? How many volts? This one's a 52 volt. What's that one? Damn, 52. 52 volt. 52 yeah. volt. Wow. Yep. Hmm. Top speed is probably like 36 miles an hour. Wow. Yeah. They go they go pretty good. That, about like that scooter I had. Uh, I, I had uh, um, uh, made by um, Segway. Yeah, Segway. It's like the nine baud or whatever it was. That's a good brand, yeah. And, and uh, somebody, I didn't even have it a week and somebody ripped it off. They steal anything nowadays. You gotta be careful. Oh, I know, but I wouldn't, have, they stole it right out of the lobby of the library. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah in, in, in the daytime. And, and with all the cameras in there, nobody saw no, nobody saw nothing. I don't know how they did it. Oh, but, but, but they must have, must have been David Copperfield or something. Oh, they're probably watching you. Well, yeah, but how did they do it with, with the camera, without the cameras seeing them? The cameras didn't see a darn thing. And then uh, there cameras all over in that library. I don't know. All right, man, you have a good day, okay? Yeah, you too. You're okay. This is a nice trail. Yeah, I agree. I like it. It always uh, it's weird how uh, you get to this time of year and just like all of a sudden it is fall. Uh, just like overnight almost. Like you can tell the difference today.
You ever been into this place? No. It's a really cool place to go into. It's kind of like an antique store, but some people have little, like, booths set up to sell. Little... We got downtown pretty crazy. Yeah. Did you hear that boy, Keith? He wants the big tires on his bike. <laughs> hey, I agree with him. I don't know what the dad answered him when he said uh, he wanted those tires on his bike, that kid. <laughs> I don't yeah. blame him. Right. Why can't I put those on my bike? Okay, Mark.
My headlight came on. Did it? Yep. Was that? Have you walked this uh, park before? Yeah, we've been through here. It's really nice. Yeah, that headlight's really bright. It goes on automatically, huh? Yeah, it has. I can turn that off, but I like it just to come on if it needs it. If you go yeah. under, if you go under a bridge or something, it's nice to have it just automatically. That's really cool that it does that. Yeah. And that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel. Thank you for tuning in for this video, and until next time.